I'm Katie Hasty with HitFix.com, and today we are joined in the studio, HitFix Studio, with Jackie Earl Haley, uh, who is co-leading in uh, the new remake of RoboCop, which, when I saw it, I was actually pretty surprised. It's a very different movie than the first one, the 80s version. You know, it had a lot of action, but this actually has a political bent to it. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of, like, discussion about it. Well, I mean, it's got drones in the title and uh, the idea of drones in, in the script. Um, tell me about what your first impression of the script was. Did you feel like this was going to be something very different from the first? Well, uh, yeah, in a sense. You know, I just, uh, I, I thought the, uh, it, it was a really good script. You know, it was topical, it was smart. You know, it's got cool action. I think it's a little bit more character driven. Mm -hmm. um, and I just really dug it. Mm -hmm. um, and your character is actually pretty big skeptic. It's kind of mm -hmm. very snarkily approaches like, Oh, a robot cop. Good job, everyone. Um, you know, nothing can replace an actual human, and that's kind of where you're coming from in this. Um, was that part of the draw too? Just, just at least that kind of level of like, I don't, I don't know. Well, you know, see, he's kind of he's in charge of running several missions around the world, where he's, you know, he's got hundreds of 208s and 209s, and he knows he knows exactly what they're going to do in any given situation. So he thinks it's a mistake by putting a man into the system, mm -hmm. you know, because there, there'll be hesitation mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, it'll create more risk. So mm -hmm. he kind of wants the experiment that is RoboCop to fail. Yeah, um, and it, you, I mean, you do a lot of weapons handling in this. Um, was there a lot of training for you involved with, with this particular role? Just a little bit, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm a Texan, so. <laughs> <laughs> I already know my way around some guns. Yeah, you just put that on the resume mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, <laughs> guns, sure, that's fine. But, you know, I did a little bit. Yeah. Um, and what was kind of the most fun day of shooting? There, there's a few scenes between you and RoboCop uh, where you're kind of you're up against each other. Were those the most fun, or was it mostly the the narrative portions that you liked the most? Well, it, it was all kind of fun, but mm -hmm. there was uh, there was one day where we were doing this, uh, the, you know, the big kind of training sequence, mm -hmm. and I keep I had to run like 40 feet in that exoskeleton suit or so, or for 50 feet or whatever, mm -hmm. but I had to do it like 30 or 40 <laughs> times. And by the last one, I mean, the, the, the next day when I woke up, my legs were on fire. Mm -hmm. And then I had to go back in and do it three more times with my legs on fire. So <laughs> that was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, good outfit. But, but you didn't have the full armor like RoboCop no, does. Just that a, seems a little, a little heavy. Robo mini me. <laughs> um, now, on your part as an actor, do you have, um, you, you've been involved with some pretty high profile remakes um, with uh, Dark Shadows and working with. Um, RoboCop and then Nightmare on Elm Street. What what are your feelings about Hollywood and remakes? Do you was there some hesitation on your part getting into RoboCop? You know, I love remakes, and it just depends on you know kind of why they're remaking it. And to me, you know, a great reason to remake RoboCop is just the fact that RoboCop was in the mid '80s, and what mm -hmm. we can do now, you know, in 20 you know 13 in mm -hmm. terms of uh, I know it's 2014. <laughs> the uh, did somebody get that? Um, <laughs> but you know, with all of the you know the technical advancements, uh, mm -hmm. and it's it's not just CGI; it's also what crews are capable of doing, and you know just the equipment to shoot. I mean, yeah. it's all just you know. So I think it's I think it's a neat time to kind of revisit that that story. Yeah. And what about film? 2014. What are your plans? Um, I'm kind of got some things going on, but they're they're not. Can't say but Solid, so I'd rather not float it out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fair enough. Fair, you should just thrown us off with like, oh, I'm in that one animated flick, and everybody will wonder what, what animated flick. I might uh, be directing a movie soon, but that one I don't run it <coughs> really talk about yet because it's we're kind of negotiating something right sure, now. Sure, sure, a little. If that clicks, then it'll the train will leave the station. If not, you know. Yeah, yeah, and and that I mean, as uh, you you have a production studio in San Antonio, Texas, mm -hmm. um, has how have your feelings about? Directing changed over the years. Is this something that you want to you want to be more involved in directing more film? Do you like do you like sticking with commercial? Do, you know, how does that wet your whistle? Well, I'd like to. I've, I've always wanted to direct a movie, and mm -hmm. I mean, like since I was eight, and uh, I just never gotten around to it. Yeah. You know, and uh, when I started back acting, um, I wanted to. Uh, you know, focus on that for a while. Mm -hmm. So now that I've done that for a while, now it's kind of time to, to um, hopefully get this thing. 2014, yeah, there you go. year of the directing. Awesome. Yeah. Um, well, RoboCop is out uh, on Friday this week. 
premieres tonight in LA. That's gonna be your first time seeing the movie, yes, is today. Yes, the premiere. Ah. Oh man, <laughs> yeah. The part with the aliens coming in is, no, I'm just kidding, there's no aliens. Uh, Robocop, though, does have a robotic cop. Uh, Jackie Earl Haley is in it, amazing role. It's a really fun movie. I hope you check it out. Thank awesome. you for coming to our studio today. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitFix on Twitter or visit HitFix.com.